Remembering firefighters lost on 9-11, local couple uncovers a place to reflect that is so far off the beaten path, you'll need a passport to get there. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau has this week's street story that's new at 6. It is perhaps the largest memorial to 9-11 in the world. It's not the tiles here in Providence. It's not in Manhattan. In fact, it's not even in the United States. In the years before the attack, Joan McConaughey turned ideas into art. I get lost in the beauty. And her husband fought fires. About a dozen times, as part of Pawtucket's honor guard, he traveled to New York City and became close to dozens of fellow firefighters. It's amazing how uh, you have something in common. John lost about 20 friends on 9-11, and like many, watched in frustration as a memorial didn't rise when the towers fell. Politics get involved. Everybody wanted what they wanted. But earlier this summer, John and Joan discovered a place where politics did not get in the way. In Newport's sister city in Ireland. Kinsale is over on this side of the water. The road, not as sharp as Joan's painting. Take a right and a right and go up the steep hill and you'll find it. That crooked path eventually took them here. Beyond the fire truck red gate, the ring finning garden of remembrance brought to life by a New York City nurse. 343 trees honoring all the fallen. I was looking, seeking out their trees and their plaques to be able to go say a prayer for them too. It's very spiritual. She put the journey on canvas and will exhibit the work at the Providence Art Club in October. And someday, John believes, you won't have to leave the country to find a proper place to reflect. Look at the goal and just do it, accomplish it. Like they did in Ireland. Yes. If the 9-11 memorial does rise in Manhattan a year from now as planned, the McConaughey say they will definitely be there. You can take another look at her art and another look at this street story by logging onto our website. On Saban Street in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.